Mini PCs are a great way of fitting a fully powered, quiet computer into any space where you don't want a big, ugly PC case. So let's see what the Geekcom IT12 Mini PC can do. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. Mini PCs are one of my favourite form factors for desktop computers and you can get a very powerful fully featured computer in an incredibly small sized box. Now these fit easily onto any desk or can be mounted behind a monitor to completely clear the processor box clutter. So for today's video, um, a company called Geekcom have very kindly sent me one of their IT12 series mini PCs. Now, now this unit costs around about £500 or $500 and is a 12th generation core i7 powered device which boasts a top level specification and, and great expandability for one of these small machines. So let's see what you get and how it performs. So if we take a look at what's inside the box. So, so once you get this nice quality lid off, uh, you're met with the mini PC itself. So this measures in at just over 11 centimeters square and five centimeters deep, or four and a half inches square by two inches. Now its sides are packed with IO ports. And again, we'll take a look at those in a second. And the unit then itself weighs in at about 650 grams or, or 23 ounces. So underneath that then, um, in this pullout section here, you'll find a full-sized HDMI lead. Underneath that then, we've got obviously a, a, a thank you card uh, and a manual, uh, followed by a surprisingly small 120 watt power brick, delivering 19 volts at 6.32 amps. Now this also comes with a mains lead, um, which will probably be customized for your region. We have some mounting screws and then finally a Visa mounting plate so that you can attach this PC to the back of your monitor. So you've got pretty much everything you need to get set up and running. So if we move on to looking at the specs for this PC, uh, we've got a 12th generation Intel Core i7-1280p, which gives us 14 cores and 20 threads, running it up to 4.8 gigahertz. So this is teamed with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM installed as two 16 gigabyte modules, which gives us a proper dual channel memory setup. Now, of course, you can then expand this up to 64 gigabytes if you need more memory. Now, this Intel chip includes the Intel Iris Xe graphics chipset, which is great for everyday tasks, uh, but obviously you'll not be playing the latest PC games at high quality. Now, most of these mini PCs um, will have an option to go for a Ryzen processor, um, but to be honest, although that will give you gaming uh, better gaming performance, the difference is really going to be from moving from low quality on this Intel processor up to possibly being able to get medium quality on the Ryzen alternative. On the other hand, though, if you're going to be doing any sort of video editing work, um, this Intel chip will easily beat the Ryzen alternatives as it does include some extra media encoding hardware. Now, now storage on this PC is actually very well catered for with three internal drive slots. So, so the main installed drive on my unit is a one terabyte NVMe drive, which is in this four channel PCIe 4.0 M.2 2280 slot. Um, now, now basically then this gives you up to two terabytes of hard drive storage with up to eight gigabytes per second data transfer speeds. Now, now again, um, th this, will, th this speed will of course depend on the actual drive that you use. Now there is a second M.2 slot and this is a 2242 slot, um, so it uses a slightly smaller card, um, but this only has the SATA interface um, for up to one terabyte of SSD storage. 
Uh, and the final then, we have a third hide, uh, hard drive slot, which is a standard SATA connector mounted in the base of the unit. And inside that, then you can slot in a, a further two terabytes of storage using a, a two and a half inch um, SSD drive. Now, now the hard drive um, that we you get supplied with comes pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro. But of course, you can change this to whatever you like. Now, as I'll show you in a, in a second, um, having these extra hard drive slots also opens up the possibility of easily creating a dual or, or a triple boot system very easily. Now, after that, then we have um, some built in Bluetooth version 5.2. The system does have Wi-Fi 6E for some very fast Wi-Fi wi transfer speeds. And we have a, a, an up to 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet port. Now, if we look around the case, um, we have a number of I.O. ports. Um, so we've actually got a, a total of six USB ports. So, so on the front, you'll find two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, uh, and one of these uh, also includes then a display port connection. And again, these are on the standard USB um, size connectors. R around the back then, you've got a third USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, and then a single USB 2.0 port. Um, but we also have then two USB Type-C ports, and, and, and these are both USB 4 powered ports, and they both include display port capability. So, so this gives you the ability to connect some very fast peripherals and, and up to 8K resolution displays to this little powerhouse PC. Now on the back, we also then have the power supply connection. Our, our Ethernet port, and then two full-sized HDMI ports. On the, on the sides of the unit then, we get a full-sized SD card slot, and then on the other, a Kensington lock, so you can bolt this PC down to your desk. Now, now build quality has always been one of Geekom's um, strong points, and the IT12 continues with this. So the case is built from a sturdy metal plating, and the official figure here is that it can support up to 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. So, 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 so do feel free to use this as a mini step to reach up to tall shelves. Now, the metal case and the dual copper heat pipes inside the system, um, teamed with their Ice Blast 2.0 cooling system, do keep this unit running very cool. Um, e even with very intensive usage, um, it, this only results in a very small amount of fan noise. So, to be honest, um, in, in most of my testing, the, the fan was actually silent, so this is quite an efficient system. Now, one last thing that Geekom also provides, uh, as standard on I think pretty all, much all of its mini PCs, is a three-year warranty, and, and this again then backs up their build quality. So, so you can be certain that the products that they have, that they actually do have confidence in them uh, as being sort of long-lasting devices uh, and reliable devices. So overall, right then, um, this does end up being a pretty impressive package, even considering the price point of around about five hundred dollars. So this specification, um, it actually allows this mini PC to be very versatile when it comes to expansion. Now, as I mentioned, uh, for memory, you've got the capacity here for dual channel up to sixty-four gigabytes. On the graphics side then, um, again, we've got our internal graphics, but you can attach an external graphics card to this PC over either of those two USB 4 connections. So this will effectively give you an external four lane PCIe connection. Now, now that won't be enough to run your graphics card at full power. Um, so most of your graphics card will have 16 lanes, um, but it will boost the performance from this integrated hardware. So, so the USB 4 connection is not as fast as a dedicated OcuLink connection, but it is much easier um, to set up and to get things up and running. And it, 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 of course, it does allow you to connect this external graphics card. Now, now having said that, you are going to pay over £150 for a, a good quality GPU adapter dock. Uh, and that, of course, is on top of the cost of any card that you want to install.
uh, and you will end up with a big graphics card box hanging out the back of your nice neat mini PC. So uh, to be honest, I I'm not entirely convinced that this is a great solution to gaming, but of course then if you do want to upgrade it, the, the choice is there for you. Now, now for me, the, the most um, interesting expansion is using those three hard drive slots, those three internal hard drive slots. So, so first off, um, you can of course just add some extra storage. So at full capacity, um, using all three slots, you can then get up to five terabytes of internal disk space, which is, which is pretty good for one of these sorts of systems. Now, if, if you do need more um, disk space than that, then of course, those USB 4 interfaces will give you 40 gigabit per second NVMe disk speeds. Uh, and again, that from an external drive. And, and even those USB 3 ports will give you higher than SSD disk performance. Um, so, so this basically gives you a full desktop machine in a package that fits inside your pocket. And, and this is great if you are perhaps hot desking or, or, or you need a full PC that you can take to different sites. Um, it is really portable. But the other thing then is that you can also easily turn your Windows PC into a multi-boot system by simply installing different operating systems onto each of the internal drive. Now, now I'm, I'm always looking at ways to build retro gaming systems, and this PC is destined to become one as well. But, but I do love having a powerful Windows PC in such a nice, neat unit. So, so I've actually here, I've, I've used an old laptop drive to install a complete Linux-based retro gaming computer um, using the standard SATA bay in the base of this box. So, so, so to get this to work, um, you actually do need to unlock some of the BIOS features on the Geekom PC. So, so as standard, it comes with the BIOS lockdown. And again, that's just really for security features, just to make sure that you don't do something silly and actually brick your computer. Um, but, if, but if you do head across to their support pages, you will find a link to their BIOS unlocking toolkit. Now this is just a simple app that you download and it only needs to be run once inside your Windows installation and that then will enable the advanced features inside of the BIOS setup code. Now, now specifically this is going to let us turn off the secure boot feature so that we can boot from multiple hard drives. So that once I've got that set up, I can now boot up my PC and all I, all I need to do is to press the F7 key during that boot to bring up my boot device menu. So this will then list me all of the bootable hard drives so I can just choose whichever one I want and boot into that computer. So in my setup here, I'm using something called Batocera, which lets me play pretty much virtually any retro games console, up to and including the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. And, and, and teamed with the powerful processor in this Geekcom IT12, I, I've really got access then to a fully powered retro gaming machine that I can take around to friends' houses or, or, or and, and simply plug into their TV and turn that into a really powerful console. Um, of course then, once I finished using the PC as a gaming system, um, it will then automatically reboot back into my Windows PC. And I've got then my work PC just ready to go um, from there. Now, I, I will be covering this full setup um, in an upcoming video. So, so please do watch out for that and, and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss those updates. So overall then, um, as far as a mini PC is concerned, I think this IT12 system um, gives you some great possibilities for customizing it to exactly your needs. So this PC is obviously very capable of becoming your everyday PC, um, but we do need to look a little bit at its overall performance. Now, 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 for comparison, uh, I've run the system through Geekbench and it returns the values that you would expect from a core i7-1280p processor. So, so mine returned a single score 
a single core score of 2341 uh, and a multi-core score of 9022. Now, now, now this particular processor, it, it was the flagship laptop device from Intel in 2022. So obviously um, there are faster processors around now, but it does still deliver great performance and it is more than enough for almost any task you want to throw at it in an office environment. And that does, as I said, include video editing with its own custom hardware for that. And, and running multiple applications on the one PC, it, it will more than cope with all of that with ease. As I said, really the only weak point I can find on this is in its gaming and graphics performance. Um, so its Geekbench score here was just under 18,000 at 17,993. Um, and that is still then fine for all of my retro gaming needs, uh, any sort of um, Photoshop, um, uh, Adobe um, Premiere Pro work and so on. All of that is covered absolutely fine. And it also then gives you the ability to do some PC gaming as well. As I say, for, for me, the retro gaming there, it, it covers everything I want to very easily. So, so again, if, if PC gaming is your thing, th th then probably this type of computer really isn't for you anyway. Um, pretty much all of these mini PCs are based off these laptop um, style processors. Um, so you will always be dealing with that. And of course the integrated graphics, uh, unless you try going down that external graphics card route. Um, but again, I, I would say if, if that's what you want, um, really you want to be looking at a, a full gaming PC. So, so really then, um, who, who is this computer for? Well, again, the, the main selling point of these mini PCs is, of course, this physical size. These are really nice, neat computers. So if, if you need a fully powered computer that will simply disappear from your desk, then this is ideal. And that Visa mounting option will let you bolt it onto the back of pretty much any monitor. And, and that will then clear your desk space. If if you do need to keep it portable, then this this small size it will just hide away in the corner. And with the sort of the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity, um, you can keep your desktop then free from any trailing wires. It is a really good, nice, neat solution. For me, of course, this is a great way of converting my main family TV into a full Windows PC. And of course, then with this option of booting it into one of these streamlined Linux retro gaming packages, um, such as Batocera, that is just a, a real game changer for me. These are really useful systems. So I hope that you found this video useful. Um, please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more technology, gaming, coding, electronics and making projects. I will put links down to where you can get hold of these um, little mini PCs um, in the description. And again, at the moment, um, here in October 2025, um, Geekcom is actually running their 22nd anniversary um, promotions. So you will get a, a really good deal on it. So. I look forward to seeing you again in another video very soon, and bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects, and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and visit my website.